Like, I've seen this guy before, bruv. He's gonna say some funny stuff. My name is Megan McQueen, I'm 31, and I'm a comedian on YouTube. Okay. What are some- Why is she popping a balloon? The shortest woman there. She wants the host anyway, she wants the host. That's why she's popping a balloon. Activities you're into? Shit, I just like to work and self-develop, stay focused, and stay out the way for real and just help my niggas who help me, you know what I'm saying? Support me, that's it. Just trying to get back to the world in any way I can, you know? This guy gives me Joe Budden vibes. Am I the only one that thinks that? What are some qualities you like in your woman? Number one is respect and, sub and submissiveness, for sure, before anything. What are some deal breakers? <laughs> if you're not submissive. I, I don't want no combative ass, argumentative ass. I don't want no, oh yeah, I'm a self, I'm a, I'm a independent woman. I don't need no man. I don't want none of that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> All right, look like we have a couple of pop balloons. <laughs> this guy's making me laugh already, bro. Your name, age, and why'd you pop your balloon? Sachi, 27, and I'm an artist. Um, and you ain't the point where I don't need no man, huh? That's what you is? Because you, when you pop your balloon, that shit hit me in my yeah. nose. Shit pissed me off a little bit. No, yeah. listen. Okay, not necessarily, but at the same time, like, I feel like I give boss. And I'm very dominant. I don't give You give boss. You're an artist. What kind of artist? You haven't even articulated what kind of artistry you're into bro you're talking about i give boss energy no you're just like any other girl walking around that thinks that she can sing or dance it's not really that deep give a f what you give but i but you know what the thing is with me i need somebody that knows how to tame me real good so you what? have to are you a fucking God. caged animal why the f yes. i gotta tame you i am a caged animal that's a problem you need therapy no okay? i've been to therapy Niggas don't need to tame a woman. <laughs> we tame, we do, we do it so much in our no, everyday life but already. That's your Why the fuck habitat. can I speak, please? Wait, when I when I, I come home, was, when I come home, brother. right? When I come home, I that girl in the blue popped a balloon because he said to this woman, "Can I speak, please?" Because this guy did not let this leopard skin Zachi run him over verbally. That makes him disrespectful. So now nah, that one in the blue popped a balloon. This shows a lot of what is going on in society, bro. I want to have to tame my woman. No. If I'm providing for you and I'm doing everything I'm supposed to be doing as a man, right? Mm -hmm. Why the fuck would I want to come home after dealing with all that shit and then have to tame my girl? Like, as if you some animal. It's not like you have to tame. Why did he even come out in a backpack, bro? Why have you got a backpack on, bro? My mate, I, I don't think there's anything worth holding right now in that backpack you want to, everyone to see you got an mcm backpack bro that's why bro <laughs> yeah. me in a sense of like if there's something going on every single day it's it has to do with like you know a day-to-day -day thing as far as like you know i might be in a bad mood or i might be trying to do something that i want to do and you're telling me not to do what i want to do and I might want to do it. So that might be combative for me because I'm very bossy. I'm very bossy. What the hell did you just say? <laughs> She's just talking gibberish, bro. That was, that made no sense what you just said. He made that was less than no sense. <laughs> that was just nonsense. <laughs> I'm sorry. I like things my way or the fucking highway. That's just what it is. And you just said that you want a guy that's gonna tame you. Then now you've just said it's your way or the highway and you're bossy. This, you are confused. You are an artist of confusion, bruv. And I'm just me. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, <laughs> hit the road. <laughs> There's a reason why you, you're not taken, bruv. Because <laughs> of nonsense like this. Will she be somebody that'll be your type? Fuck no, nigga. <laughs> the fuck, cause what the fuck? I need to tame and anybody like, tame, nigga. This shit crazy. And she talking about, oh, I'm 27. You know what I'm saying? And I like things my way or the highway. With the whoop. Well, listen to me. This is why you're at a dating show inside of a studio right now, okay? Because you're still dealing with these issues, baby. You need to stop moving it like that, all right? No, baby, and you will get a nigga. I promise you, because you already have the look. I have a lot of them already. You have a way. I have a lot of So why aren't you with any of them? Because I'm here doing a show. Well. But it's a dating show. This girl thinks that she said something slick again. There's a reason why you're single. There's a reason why you're not taken. 
at 27. So now you're exposing that you have loads of guys like that you're talking to or whatever. Content creation business. Would you know anything about that? <laughs> content creation business bro he's way more known than you i know who this guy is <laughs> i don't know who you are uh sarchi leopard skin outfit i don't know you but i know this guy though and if i know who that guy is that means he must be doing something that's why he's just looking at king the great six eight bro and king the great six eight is just laughing because he knows that this is silly Next, have a great day. I think a what? <laughs> your name, age, Wait. and why did you pop your balloon? Hazel, and I'm 25. What would you say your name was? Hazel. Hazel, okay. Or Hayes, whatever. Um, I don't know. You just say you don't like independent women. I like getting money. I like, you know. That's great. You can get money. And at the end of the day, you know, it's I'm going to do what I have to do for me. That's got nothing to do with what he said. You getting money has got no Oh, my God, bro. These are finished. You know? That's and great. if you have like a problem with that, then it's not gonna work. He ain't got a problem with you getting money though. Where did he say that he doesn't want a woman that makes money? He didn't say that. Would this be somebody that'd be your type? I mean, no, because I feel like if you are too slow to understand what the fuck I was even saying when I said I don't want an independent woman, because she associated that with her not being able to get money. You can get money and still be a woman that allows your man to lead exactly. if you want to be some and you can't just be in a solid relationship where a man is a leader you want a leader as a man yeah so how are you going to be an independent woman and also let a man because lead you said you had a problem with independent women. because if i'm if i'm dealing with an independent woman i don't need no man then you're not going to allow me to lead she can still be independent and submissive but you just said you don't like independent women i said i don't like an independent woman i don't need no man that's the attitude i don't like that's exactly what he said but you seem to have missed that because you only heard what you wanted to hear. Or actually, you heard what triggered you. Um, you ain't listen to that part though, huh? Then I can get my balloon back because I'm cool. Yeah. Whenever you get into these verbal back and forth with these women, this is why you should never back down, bro. And never just concede because, oh, yeah, we've been taught and programmed that, you know, when a woman's talking, you just have to let her say whatever. No, bruv. Because in this instance, he just proved that she was wrong and she, she misheard what he, he said or misunderstood what he said. And now he's clarified it and made her understand and now she wants a balloon back. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said, yeah. Yeah. Taking long to get this balloon, man. Flipping hell. Why haven't you just got balloons ready, man? What's going on? Thank you. Oh, right. They got that girl there, bruv. What the hell? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Yo, hey, you lot. Everyone that knows who this girl is, yeah? Press one in the chat. <laughs> Look at the comedians looking at her, bruv. Look how he's looking. He knows who she is, bruv. She's got a very long tongue. Her tongue is long, bruv. She does a lot of spicy content, bruv. That's what I'm gonna say. Spicy content, bruv. Let's go on to our next pop balloon. Your name, age, and why'd you pop your balloon? Kaya, 22. I literally just popped it because, um, I don't know, like, a comedian is great. I love funny men. You're handsome, by the way. But Thank I just you. feel like sometimes, like, I kind of, like, want a little more serious like you know i don't always want a joke to like come back and stuff like that that's literally why so. bro he's a comedian but that doesn't mean he's gonna be telling jokes 24 7 every minute of the day this is silly so. yeah i get you yeah that's it would she be somebody that'll be your type i like would like me so if she don't like me then she's not my type come on let's go my brother let's go you need to get a let's go t-shirt bruv because that was that was the right thing to say my brother if she don't like me, I don't like her. If, she, if I'm not her type, she's not my type. Simple. No compliments. No, oh, she's kind of nice. No, no, no. All right. Your name, age, and why'd you pop your balloon? I'm Cece. I'm 28. Yeah, speak a little bit better, louder, Cece. You heard my name, though. No, nah, well, I did. Okay. I'm just saying for the people. So the reason I said no is because he, he talk a lot. 
and he's very sassy. Here we go. The shortest girl here talking about, oh, he's sassy. So she's calling him names, shaming lines. You're sassy because you, you're standing on your principles and you're not backing down to what women are saying. So that makes you sassy. And I'm not with the, in the, the nose ring. And that girl in the back, she has uh, popped her balloon again based on what somebody else has said. This Latina in the black dress, every time, if, other wo if another woman says something negative about a guy, she will pop her balloon because she's just following what other women are saying. Like He got four ear piercings. Why? No reason. The hat is backwards still. The, look, at the, look at the shoes. And he want to get up here and talk all that shit to everybody. Don't. Me and him going to be going like this every day. It's not going to work. And you know I keep that thing on me. <laughs> that, nah. This one is gassed because she's got a big back. I've, I've met people like this. But like obviously you're going to have that kind of back because everything is just with you. I work next. I don't even want to hear. I don't even want to hear a joke that you're gonna say. Why? Next. You just able to. What? Hold on. You. So you think that you're gonna say all this stuff to a man, and man can't respond back? What the hell? You say whatever the fuck you want to say, yeah, but you don't want to hear what I. Because you know I'm finna roast your little short, thick, fucking buzz butterball. Let me let me finish what I'm saying. How old did she say she was? It don't matter. Why does it not matter? She's 28, brother. Tell me what your age is. Why does it not matter? Because you, because you, how old are you? Grown. Tell me. You, but you she gotta be an old motherfucker if you if you're afraid to tell me the age. See, you see that? You see that talk a lot shit I'm talking about? <laughs> you just dissed him. You just dissed him. You dissed him about his clothes. You dissed him about what he's got on. You dissed him about him. And now he's saying stuff about you now. Nah, oh, you see, you see how he's talking to me, bro. Shut up, bro. I told you this short one is not a nice person. She's not. She doesn't have a good spirit, in my opinion. I'm sorry. You just said a bunch of shit, but she don't want me to say nothing back because you know I'm finna fry your ass. That's why. I know you don't because you know I'm finna fry your little small fry ass. That's why. Take that pen out your titties, okay? Take that. Why you got that damn pen in between in between your titties? Okay, for sure. But yeah, she's popping all the balloons quick because she wants the host. She wants the host of the show, fam. Right back in. Okay, cool. And how old are you still? You just, you're not going to answer the question? No. Cause you, not you, yeah. She's 28, bruv. Okay, I know. Because you just, you just wanted to talk all your shit and you didn't want to give the comedian a chance to roast your ass. I get it. Okay, that was a smart move. I like that. Okay. Would you be somebody that would be your type? Fuck no, nigga. Yeah, no. You talk too motherfucking much, man. Just like just, you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Got to move a little short ass out my way, man. You talking too goddamn much. I need this to shut up, nigga. Now you see he called me a bitch. Now, 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 now. Where's KK? 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 Who's he talking to? Talking to you, fam. He's talking to you, fam. That he's talking to you. He's still and now because he called her B, the other the, the girl that the last girl that had the balloon popped her balloon. <sighs> what? Oh. You still interviewing me, please? All right, get okay. back in your spot. And that's why I popped my balloon. Yeah, one more pop balloon. Are we doing okay? Yeah. Listen, Abby, I don't give a. F I I don't. Here's the thing. I didn't. I didn't oh, pop my. Actually, oh, okay, okay. Your name, age, and why'd you pop your balloon? Okay, Abby Nicole, 25. I wanted to clarify why I kept it and then why I popped it. I kept it because I felt like when he first started speaking, he matured from what I, from me knowing him. I felt like okay, he started. See, <laughs> no, I felt like he matured for sure because I've known him for a while. So I'm like, hmm, maybe wrong timing. Maybe he could. Then he started. The beat, the, nah, I can't do it. Mm -mm. That's it. Well, because he called the other girl who was cussing him, he called her a B. Now you pop your balloon and you knew him from before. But ugh, this is so dumb. Why are you backing her beef? You don't know her. And she wasn't a nice, she wasn't being nice. She was dissing him, bro. What? So, so basically, you should just, as a man, you should just let a woman just say anything to you and you just have to eat it. That's, that's silly. You know, I love you, though. 
would she be somebody that would be your type? I mean, look, like I said, I like what like me. So, you, you know, if you don't like me, then it is what it is. You're not I my type. I love you, though. Then why'd you pop the balloon? Because you called her, like, all her names. So you what? So did she. She got what she 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 dished out. That's it. Call me on my name? Then that's going to be smart. Have I, I ever called, you. have I ever called you out your name? But what if you just but, did but, it? But wait, did, but I, just did, did I ever call you out your name? Yes Honestly, or no? No. Okay, so why you popped the balloon? Just because you heard somebody else talking shit to me, and I didn't get a chance to talk shit back. And so when I say a joke about it, now you're going to pop the balloon because of yeah, other people's... It's because women back women regardless. <laughs> women these days will back other women no matter what terrible things they do or say. They always want to back women, bro. That's why, bro. At the end of the day, if it, even if you piss me off, you talking about respect and submissive, I'm not going to call you a pussy ass nigga if you piss me off. But what that got to do with you and me? I'm just saying, okay, I'm giving you my reasoning. If you feel like it doesn't have to do with that, I feel like if you're, you did that right there, I wouldn't put you doing it past me. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, especially that if I'm- is, That is ridiculously just illogical, bro. Just because you and the other woman are two different entities. Like, what are you talking about? Did you feel threatened like that? Or if I made you, if I pushed you to that, if you can't control your mouth, it's going to just go left. Because now you calling me a bitch. Now I'm about to call you something else. Then you're going to call me this. It, it. Yeah, but I don't know. The, the, the bitch wasn't, wasn't used in the sense of, okay, so oh, this that. is a bitch. Like, it was more so like, get this bitch out of here. Like, it was just, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just, just nigga talk. But if you take it offensively, I don't really. And didn't that short girl already, already use a... Uh, Foul language, calling, she's saying she wants a, 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 a mean N-word. Like, come on, bruh. I really care, honestly. Yeah, I know you don't. Yeah. I know. I still love you, though. Yeah. The funny thing about it is that even though this guy is being perceived as a villain right now, I'm sure these women are finding him quite attractive. A little bit of advice for you guys out there. Nice guys finish last. And a lot of times, guys that are perceived to be rude and arrogant and cocky and all of these kind of, oh, he's too rude, he's too full of himself, blah, blah, blah. What you'll find is those same women will go and then sleep with those guys, bro. Why do I know this is true? Because I've been that guy, bro. And I've done this many times.